Hey guys, it's Brendan Borman back for another 270 video. This is the 101 series, the Swing States edition. And so we're going to be talking about states like Florida, North Carolina, Colorado, New Mexico, Arizona, Iowa, Virginia, New Hampshire, Pennsylvania, and Ohio. All these states are critical inside the game of 270, and there are lots of crossovers. So let's go ahead and take a look at the map. Swing States, of course, does have a $100,000 bonus. It is one of the three bonuses inside the game that does have a base of $100,000. So when you pair that with High Tech or African American, the other two, that super crazy powerful. And then you even have candidates who have bonuses or penalties to give you a higher per turn bonus and so again if you click on the purple briefcase inside the game it shows you a map of all of the swing states and that is this view where you can see also the base rate of a hundred thousand now if you want to calculate a bonus you can click on your character and john mccain does have a 25 percent swing state bonus affiliated with his character if you take the one hundred thousand dollar base rate times 1.25 to represent 25%, that does give you $125,000 per turn. John McCain is a free candidate. If you are someone who wants to prioritize swing states, I encourage you to give him a try. Now, in order to get the swing state bonus, you have to have fully control up to the third pip of enough swing states that nets you an aggregate of $200,000. If you just have Florida to the third pip, and you are leading, that is 50% of what you need for this swing state bonus. Now, of course, you can get swing states without Florida, but a lot of players prefer to have Florida just because it makes it so much easier and you can do it with that many fewer states. But if you have swing states with Florida, keep in mind that your opponent may have African American or Latino and can attack you later on in the game. Let's go ahead and take a look at one of the most popular swing state combinations. That is the route that's called Classical Swing. Now you can do this with Florida, North Carolina, and Pennsylvania. And while this does cost slightly more than 200K to get, it is a great bonus. However, North Carolina and Pennsylvania are two highly sought after states. Add in Florida, and it is very unlikely that if you're in a head-to-head, -head, you're gonna get Classical Swing states uncontested by the end of turn three. That's always the goal. And again, if you delay your bonus and your opponent delays a bonus, that's okay too. But um, keep in mind that if you're gonna go after this route, it may not be the smartest thing to open up in all three of these states on turn number one. Not only do you show your cards, but you also wanna be able to pivot. And so if you pivot to manufacturing or another bonus, that's gonna take a long time. Personally, one of my favorite combinations is something I coined the clash and dash. That is usually after I have clashed in the Old South. Maybe I spent $125,000 going into the classical Old South of Louisiana, Virginia, North Carolina, and Maryland. And then now I can roll that money over into this combination. Not only do I have access to North Carolina and Virginia for swing states, but now if I get it uncontested into all four of these states, I can still get swing states right on schedule. This is also a good combination um, if you clash in New York or when you factor in that after you get this state combination, you have New Mexico in your back pocket. So if you do get Texas and um, California, you'll have Latino. But more importantly, with a Ohio and with a Wisconsin, you will also have enough to get that manufacturing bonus. Now, there is another swing states combination that I call the MAG swing, M-A-G, manufacturing and agriculture. If you have Texas and these states, not only do you have the swing state combination, but with Florida, North Carolina, and Wisconsin, you will also get agriculture. Now, agriculture is not one of the most important bonuses in the game. However, in the early game, if you're able to get agriculture for even a turn or two, you can snowball that into California and really get an edge on your opponent in the big states. Or just plain defense in Texas 
or if you're facing pressure in these states. Another thing that's great about this combination is with access to both Virginia and North Carolina, you can simply add a PIP into a couple states in the Old South and have access to the Old South, and it's really hard to defend against. Another really powerful swing state combination involves the African-American bonus. And so if you have all four of the African-American hybrid swing states of Florida, Arizona, North Carolina, and Virginia, all that you lack to get for the AA, or the AA swing and get that swing state bonus is to simply add New Hampshire. Now, if you were to add New York to these states, all of a sudden you have African-American. And then all you do if you add Iowa to that, which is also a swing state and you can use your swing state money, then all of a sudden now you have town and gown. This specific strategy is something I use with a lot of candidates, specifically the stone. And you'll be hearing more about that in my town and gown video, which will be coming out very soon. So this is another powerful combination. There's one combination I like to talk about that does not involve Florida. So this is the pre-hangman swing. Again, hangman by definition is acquiring the manufacturing bonus without the state of Texas. And so, you know, pre-hangman is working on the hangman, but using the swing state bonus to catapult or to defend some of those key states. One of the downsides to this strategy is you have so many states that you have to defend. You know, five compared to the classical swing state route of just three. However, because of this, you know, your opponent has to pick and choose where they're going to contest you if they want to try to contest you. If you just simply add an Illinois and a Michigan, you'll get the manufacturing bonus. Also, within the state groups, um, town and gown is not really something that you can get with just the swing states of Iowa, Arizona, and New Hampshire. However, kind of piggybacking off what I just talked about a little bit earlier, it's critical to know that those are states that you can contest because later in the game, maybe you have town and gown or maybe you have swing states and you are both accumulating money maybe for a Florida steal. Um, you might want to close off some of these states just so that they can take away the opportunity for your opponent to steal it later on in the game. Understanding which states have high values is super important in 270. Not everything is based on a cost per dollar or the potential bonuses. However, Virginia and Arizona are two of the most common states to be filled out or maxed out completely in the early game. Colorado is also really important. It has, it has Latino, it has oil and gas, and then North Carolina is super underrated. I talked about the, the mag swing and the, the potential for agriculture, but with manufacturing, with African American, with Old South, and with swing states, you know, there are so many different combinations, and it is really tough to defend against a North Carolina steel. That is one of the states that I find myself stealing in the mid game more times than not. If you take a look at a candidate such as an FDR, who you might want to play through Texas or California, um, you know, there are some high talented players that play as FDR through swing states and then pivot to either Texas or California. And it depends on who their opponents are, obviously. But keep an open mind with the swing states in oil, like New Mexico and Colorado, Latino, Arizona, Colorado, New Mexico, and export with you know, Pennsylvania and Ohio. Because candidates who have these high bonuses, they give you a lot of flexibility. And just understanding how you can utilize the swing states to be a better 270 player, that is ultimately the goal. Anyways, this has been a 270 101 video. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this. This picture was actually taken at a birthday party back in 2016, right before I started playing the 270 game. I created my own kind of 270 experience with my family, and I made spooky swing states, which I thought was pretty cool. I put pumpkins on the swing states and had a trivia-based game. I drew the map from hand, and um, I assigned swing states to some random states. So even though Missouri and Nevada aren't swing states, I thought it was pretty fun. Thank you guys so much for watching this video, and until next time, 
I'll catch you again soon.